because th this is what this is your text. It mm -hmm. says that Jesus is Jehovah. Uh -huh. What are you going to do about that? It's what it, it's what it says, and I got more that says the same thing in your text. What well, in so many scriptures? I, I just Jesus. went through the context. Jesus even referred, he said, Father, I came not to do your will. I know, because there's, I just told you, we, uh -huh. we do not separate them in being. There is one being, uh -huh. and that is God. Uh -huh. This one being has revealed himself in the New Testament as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, whom I believe y'all consider to be a personal force, in Acts chapter 5, Peter calls him God when it comes to Ananias and Sapphira. And you know when uh, the day of Pentecost when Holy Spirit was poured out upon all of them that was there. Mm -hmm. So what was that that was poured out on them? It was the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. he, see, 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 God at one time tabernacled in a tent. And then he tabernacled in a temple. Then he tabernacled in a man. And today he tabernacles in those that put their faith in Christ. Yeah. Because he, he's our ransom. Well, I have the Shekinah glory. Blood. The Shekinah glory lives in this ugly vessel that you see. He lives in me. He, he lives in me. He's not some Star Wars force. But your scripture says unless the Spirit of Christ lives in you, I can show you that you are not have no part of Jehovah. And I ask you, does the Spirit of Christ live in you? Well, does we do. We believe that, yes. You because believe you know that what? the Spirit of Christ that lives in you. That is why, Jeff, we... We realize how people feel when we go from door to door. We oh, realize oh. everybody. No, uh, uh, this is what coming from uh, in defense. Uh, some don't believe that we believe in Jesus. Now they know we do. We do a work because this is what Jesus. In two different Jesuses. Who do you and I? Same as with the Jehovah's. I mean the uh, the Mormons. Oh. Because I don't believe Jesus is Michael. Oh. You know what I always tell people. You know, uh, the time is going to come when everybody would know who was saying the truth and who wasn't. The time oh, is going to come. I'm from right here. I want it from right here. Listen, yeah. Look, yeah. seriously, I just showed you in your own text, and you cannot, and, def you can't. And we don't get feel, you know, like I said, you're entitled uh, to believe how you believe, just like we're entitled. I'm convinced to believe uh -huh. how I believe. Okay. I don't let and anyone. We I don't that. let anyone tell me what to believe or, or what to think. Mm -hmm. I, but my daughter, she's just turned nine. I don't teach her what to think. I mm -hmm. teach her how to think. How to think, and that's good. Like the ancient Bereans you mentioned mm -hmm. earlier. Yeah. But so uh, when, when someone like like when I read this again, it says Isaiah saw Jehovah, mm -hmm. and then right here it says that Isaiah. Speaking of him, saw him. The only him there is Christ. He, Isaiah saw Christ on the throne. Who is Jehovah? Well, now, if you already have your answer, then that, no, no, no. that you know, because we already. Don't come to see me. Here's the thing. You come to my door. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? I didn't come but to But those door. who want to hear. And like I I'm said, a, we don't make anybody. And Jesus didn't either. You know, when Jesus said when once when the apostles went about and once wanted to hold on to the Mosaic law because he was coming to fulfill the law. But uh, but that's the reason why a lot of them, they looked at uh, the newfound Christianity as a sect because they wanted to stick to the Mosaic law. But, little, you know, if they would have consult, uh, uh, gotten to the scrolls, uh, he came to fulfill it. And he did. And he did. And he, and he did. did. So likewise, but they didn't accept that. They didn't, you know, the Pharisees who was religious people, mm -hmm. Sadducees, they did not accept that. And they wanted Jesus out of the way. So I just said all of that. You know, people for many centuries have always been entitled to believe whatever it is they want to believe. But if you saw me and about to get run over by a truck. Would you scream at the top of your voice? Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. right. oh, yeah. How much more should we scream? Someone believing in a false doctrine. Yeah. No, 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 no. Now, here's key. If I was dying, let's say someone just stabbed me in the back. I got a knife in my back. I got three minutes to live. How do I get to Jehovah? 
because what she told me about the gospel being the life story of Jesus Christ it's found in the gospels how do I get to Jehovah and if I'm not mistaken there's no way whenever I look into what y'all believe and so there is no there is no the Bible says that the gospel is God's power for salvation first to the Jew then to the Greek and I need to know if something just was to just have, if I did get hit by that car, if I did get stabbed in the back, what's the gospel? What's my only hope in life and death? Well, Jesus said, those, uh, nobody can come to the Father except through me. Uh, Jesus or Michael? Well, see, we're not even going yeah, to get But, but, but do you, you see the, 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 how, the, how that uh -huh. messes with my mind? Well, yeah. see, well, like I said, but again, you are satisfied no, no, with I'm what you satisfied. have. I'm not satisfied uh, for you. Well, what we are satisfied oh, for no, us. No, please don't listen. I'm we are satisfied. Listen. The, the, the same way the you're clear, convinced. The clear gospel we are tells too. us that Adam and Eve was, was spiritually alive. And then they did wrong. They disobeyed God and they became spiritually dead. And because of what they did, it's like throwing a, a walk into the pond and how that ripple effect, that ripple has taken on life. And because of that, everyone born is born spiritually dead and mm -hmm. sins and trespasses. And we prove that because we sin and we trespass. My daughter, I just got married two years ago. Her mother left when she was five months old. And left me to with this little baby that I knew nothing to do with. And let me tell you something. It's been a ride. But I can remember her being three years old and seeing a, a little kid walking down Walmart parking lot with a bunny, purple bunny rabbit saying, Dad, I want that rabbit. Go get it. She wouldn't have minded a bit if I kicked that little girl and took that rabbit and gave it to her. She would have said, thank you. Because her heart is wicked and deceitful above all things who can understand it. She's dead and her trespasses and sin. She proves what the Bible says by how she lives. I prove what the Bible says by how I live. But God looked down from heaven, saw that no one was going to seek him, and he became a man in the person of Jesus Christ, born of a virgin who suffered under the hands of Pontius Pilate. And on the cross, whatever you want to call it, it doesn't matter, on that cross, the wrath of God and the mercy of God met for the first time since the creation of the world. And the mercy that I should not have gotten came to me. And the horrible punishment that I should have got fell on Christ. And by faith I received that. And I repented of my sins. And I went under the New Testament sign of the covenant and was baptized and was added to the church. And my baptism had nothing to do with me being saved. It was by grace alone I be saved. That at the moment that I heard that message I just told you, my heart of stone got pulled out and he put me in a heart of flesh. And I can't even think nothing outside of Christ. He is my Lord and my Savior. And right now as we speak, he is at the right hand of the Father. And he's ruling and reigning, putting all enemies under his feet. Because he is on the throne of David. He is on the throne of David right now. He is that mountain that's spoken of in Daniel, that rock that fell and crushed all the kingdoms, and that rock that's growing into a, a mountain that's going to fill and cover the earth because the true kingdom of God is the, rule, is the growth of the church under the rule and reign of Jesus Christ. That's what I believe. Mm -hmm. And we can tell you have, a, you have a strong love for it's God. Not, and, listen, you know, you in my that. own flesh, and it's not true. That. I am filled with his spirit. It compels me. You are my neighbors. Believe I would go out there and defend you if someone was to disrespect Even now, if a man was to disrespect you, he'd have to come over my dead body. That's the kind of Love man that I am. Neighbors. That's the Love kind of man that I am. That's beautiful. That's the kind of man that I am. And I'm thing. screaming at you. Jesus is God. He is not the Father. There's only one God, one being of God. But he has revealed himself in the New Testament. I just showed you, as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Jesus was on the throne, and the seraphim surrounded him with six wings, two covering their face, two covering their feet, and two they flew. And they cried to one another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. His, his glory, it fills the earth. And Isaiah said, Woe is me, for I'm a man of unclean lips who dwells in the midst of people of unclean lips. That's me. Yeah. 
And then it said that one of the angels took a, a burning coal that he had taken with tongs and he come down and he touched his lips and he said, this has touched your lips. Behold, it's purified you. Mm -hmm. In the New Testament, God did not send an angel with a burning coal with tongs, but he became the man, Jesus Christ, and he took upon himself flesh. And he died the death I should die. And I now live the life I should not live. I don't deserve the mercy I have. The scriptures constantly say the undeserved kindness. And that's how we all feel the undeserved kindness. So if a knife is in my back, how do I get to Jehovah? Because if it ain't by grace through faith, for the proclaiming of the gospel message, you're preaching a false gospel. And you will answer for that one day. When you, you know, when something like that happened, truly, you know, these unforeseen occurrences befall us all. But our prayer to Jehovah, we pray, and he hears us. That's how Did we get to Jehovah. Did you pray in the name of Jesus? Yes, yes you have to go to yes. Jesus to get to yes. Jehovah. That ransom sacrifice. That he died but see, for but us. that's right there is what's confusing but, to yeah. me. Because oh, to he's Michael now, yourself. correct? In heaven right now, he's Michael. Because there was Michael, then on earth it was Jesus. When Jesus was gone from earth, he became Michael. Right? Am I right? I don't want to run you Huh? No, you you you. I mean, we respect how yeah. you feel, and thank you I'm for compelled. inviting us. I'm in. compelled. Yeah. Well, thank you for inviting us. I have us more in. scriptures. There's I more. It, it, it proves uh, the things in here that it said to Jehovah. That, but but Jehovah Himself says to Jesus. Hebrews one proves that Jesus is no angel. Hebrews 1 proves that the Son is not an angel. And, and that's what we quote from Psalm 102, a prayer to Jehovah. Talking about you lay the foundations of the world. And Jehovah, in Hebrews chapter 2, says this of the Son. I beg you, I beg you to repent and to faith the only true God. And that is to the Jesus. If I could hug you and tell you this, I would. don't know how how well y'all could hear that but I pray that y'all pray for them I don't know how well I articulated it pray for me how to get more opportunities to speak with them to the elders whatever uh, yeah